The acclaimed Jedi leader and general, later traitor of the Order and Republic, Pong Krell was a Jedi Master leading up to the Clone Wars conflict. Though his time on the Clone Wars show was brief, his power and skill was evident, and today we will be analyzing the true extent of this fierce warrior's power and explore why I believe he may have been one of the most enlightened and powerful Jedi of his era. Pong Krell was originally a faithful Jedi Master committed to maintaining peace and order throughout the galaxy. This is not to say Krell was a pacifist, however. Throughout the Order, Krell was known as an esteemed combatant and perfectionist, expecting nothing less but the best from himself and his contemporaries. He was also widely known as a fantastic yet ruthless battlefield commander, acquiring many victories for the Republic, but also not unwilling to do so at the cost of much life. Krell pushed himself to the absolute limits, both with his training and in his mind. As a fighter, Krell was among the best the Jedi had to offer. He was a Besilisk, a species in the galaxy known to be extremely strong, but even for his race, he was exceptional, standing at nearly 8 feet tall and capable of killing a regular person with a single blow. As a lightsaber duelist, he was unrivaled, being a master of Jarkai dual blade fencing, but due to his species having four arms, he could utilize two dual bladed lightsabers at once. Because of his size and due to his weapons, his reach was incredible, capable of dispatching enemies several meters away. His skill in blast deflection is almost unfathomable, with upwards of 40 clone troopers firing upon him simultaneously and still, not a single bolt pierced his guard. On top of this, Krell even deflected several blaster bolts while simultaneously being flung around in the air by the tendrils of a Vixus beast. Krell was extremely fast, and twirled and twisted his sabers in almost all directions. It was also nearly impossible to keep pace with his movements with his two dual bladed weapons, coupled with his speed, making it extremely difficult, almost impossible. Although we have never witnessed Krell in a lightsaber duel, we can fairly accurately determine how he would handle himself based on his encounter with the clones and his choice of weaponry. As a duelist, Krell is likely similar to Grievous, preferring to shock and quickly overwhelm his opponents in a duel with fast paced powerful strikes. He could also be compared to the likes of Malgus, with long sweeping power blows capable of staggering even the best defenses and implementing physical strikes into his sequences with his two free arms. What makes Krell so formidable is that he has the size, strength, and power of upwards of three men, but also the speed to go along with it, making him an uphill battle for almost any opponent. Krell was precise with his sequences, keeping track of many enemies at a single time and not allowing himself to be overwhelmed, having the sense to know when to retreat and when to stand and fight. In the Gift of the Force, Krell was also notable, with his speed and strength most definitely being augmented because of it. Krell could leap large distances and also survive falls from extremely long heights. Krell has displayed skill with the ability of Force Repulse, using all his hands to push outward, sending several clones flying backwards, but notably, not killing them. His Force Pushes were also extremely fierce, with one knocking an entire squadron of troopers to the ground, allowing him to escape. But where Krell is truly gifted concerning the Force is his foresight in looking into the future. Krell was enlightened enough to see the scheme of the Sith, and he even saw the destruction of the Jedi, a feat even Yoda could not achieve on his own. Krell's vision of the future was so vivid he came to the realization the Jedi were doomed, and that the Order would slowly crumble over the boot heel of the Sith. Because of this vision, Krell abandoned the Jedi way, maintaining the facade for a time to allow him to eventually reach out to Dooku and swear allegiance to the Sith. Krell's gift of foresight was so insanely powerful, he had even deciphered the destruction of the Republic and Jedi would not come from an outward source, but from within. Krell also used the Force to promote disorder and confuse the clones, making his voice echo from every direction when they were hunting him, keeping them oblivious to his true location. Along with this, Krell used very basic telepathy and instilled his enemies with a sense of fear. He was also able to sense the emotions and dilemma of Captain Rex, feeling he was truly afraid and divided as to what to do concerning Krell's ultimate fate. For all of Krell's incredible strengths though, he carried one crippling weakness that eventually led to his capture and death. Because of the great power he wielded, Krell became overconfident, especially towards the end of his life, becoming easily tricked and was thus beaten. This can also be attributed to blind rage, as Krell only desired to destroy the clones and became unaware of his surroundings, becoming caught in the tendrils of a Vixus beast. 
Krell ultimately learned the same harsh lesson Anakin Skywalker would years later, to never overestimate your own power or underestimate the power of your enemy. Unfortunately for Krell though, this flaw would prove to be a fatal one, as he was captured by the clone troopers and was subsequently executed. So that was my evaluation for the power of Pong Krell, so tell me down below how you feel about this esteemed Jedi general, later turned traitor, and how powerful do you think Krell could have become if he achieved his goal and was allowed to become the apprentice of Dooku and truly train in the dark side of the force. Leave in the comments down below or tweet me at stupendouswave on Twitter which Star Wars character's power you want me to discuss next. Thanks as always so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you.